In this video, I'll show you an easy to use editing software that works on Windows and also on your Mac computers. It won't break the bank. It's a lot cheaper compared to most of its other competitors and it has pretty much the same features. And I have to say, it actually runs more stable than Premiere Pro. Check it out. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Julian. I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro and I'm super excited to have you for this video. Before I will show you my top features of Filmora 12, I would like to give you a bit of the backstory. Most of you know or some of you know that besides of being a YouTuber and a course creator, I'm also a professional filmmaker and that's what I do for a living. That means I'm editing a lot on my computer. And for the last like almost 10 years, I have been using Premiere Pro and in the last couple of years it got to a point where it was very buggy i have crashes almost on a daily basis and overall using it is just a pain in the ass and just before recording this video i have checked in the last 12 months alone i have paid over 700 dollars for the adobe programs and just to put things into perspective Filmora 12, as of recording of this video, you can get the entire program for less than $50 per year. So yeah, that's just a bit of the backstory, but now let's hop into the program and I will show you my top features. Alrighty, so this is what the program looks like. And if you have been using Filmora 11 in the past, then this looks very familiar to you. And also if you have been using any other editing program, this also looks kind of similar. So basically at the top here, you have a few different options. You have your media, you can also access some stock footage you have audio titles transitions effects stickers and so on and at the bottom here you have also a few different items that you're used to seeing you can delete you can cut your clips you can edit the music and so on so in case you would like to see a full walkthrough of the program where i show you step by step how you can do everything and where you can find everything then click this video over there this is a walkthrough of filmora 11 that's the previous version but when it comes to overall how you can find stuff it is very very similar so that's why i won't go more in depth now into the overall setup of the program because you can see everything over there there are just some minor things that have changed and yeah like i said in this video i will show you my top features so the first thing that in my opinion is very cool that i would like to show you is for all of you that have been using premiere pro or final cut in the past because like I said, if you have been using this for a long time, you know all the keyboard shortcuts and learning a new program can be very difficult, mostly because of the keyboard shortcuts. And Filmora 11 has a nice solution for that. If you go to the very top right next to your account icon, you can just tap on that and then you have keyboard shortcuts. And then this window pops up and there basically you can dial in everything just as you like it. Or you could also drop down this menu and you can just click on Adobe Premiere Pro. And now everything just as you have it with Premiere Pro is also the same in this program. So that's very, very nice. So just tap on OK. And now all your keyboard shortcuts are just like within Premiere Pro. So for example, if I want to go into my blade tool, I just tap on C. Now I can set a cut. If I want to go back to the selection tool, just tap V, I can delete that and so on. So this is very, very awesome, especially for those that have been using different programs in the past. The next feature that I would like to show you is called tap to speech. And that is also a very cool feature for all of you that need some subtitles for their videos, especially if you are making videos for social media, having subtitles is super, super important. And Filmora 12 has a very nice and easy solution for that. So how does that work? Basically, this is just a quick clip that I recorded yesterday. So all I need to do is I need to just select the clip and then go over here and there it says speech to text. Just tap on that once. Then you can select the language. So in case you have any other language, you can just select that. You can also tell the program if you only want the clip that is selected to be translated or you want the entire timeline. So I'll just want that clip that I have selected. Tap on OK. And now it's transcoding the sequence, it's uploading it. It only takes a couple of seconds, but basically it depends on how long your clip is and how fast your internet connection is. After it's done transcoding, you have this text layer right here. You can double tap on that and then you basically see your subtitles and then you can also change the font, you can change the size. 
you want to you can make it bold or whatever that you like you can basically tweak everything right here you can also select some of the presets that are already there but that's basically it and that's really cool like i said especially for those social media clips and speaking about social media clips adding cool transitions to your video is one way of making the videos more interesting and making it more engaging for the viewers and you also have some nice options here in filmora 12 you can just go to transitions up there and there you have a bunch of different options Options. at the top you can select whether you only want to see the free ones or you also want to see the paid ones to be honest i think the free ones are more than enough as you can see you have plenty of them and something that's trending as of right now is starting a reel with a zoom in effect and i will just select that and drag that over my timeline then i will just make that a bit shorter let's play it back let's see how that looks now as you can see the video starts with this cool zoom in transition that's really cool. You can change the duration and yeah, that's just one way. And like I said, there are a bunch of other transitions as well. And with other programs like Premiere Pro as well, you need to pay to get these kind of transitions. So it's actually really cool that you have that many options inside of here. And you know that all of these are basically for free. The next feature that I would like to show you is the overall keyframe workflow. They have changed this a bit with Filmora 12. And I think this is now much better compared to how it was before. And I'm just selecting this clip over here and what I want to show you is I want to make just a small zoom in effect and that's something that is really cool with you know just making the video just a bit more interesting for the viewer and basically you can do this very easily at the top right here you have the transform tab and you have the x and the y axes and all I'm gonna do is I'll just tap on this little icon here and that's the keyframe and I'll drag this all the way to the left and then I'll just you know go somewhere here and then i will zoom in just how far i like i'll just go to 124 percent and then i will just set a cut right here so i will delete the rest and now if we're playing back the video you see that we have this nice zoom in effect i would have to render this clip right here but generally speaking that's how you can do it and yeah, it's a very nice and easy workflow. I really like this. And yeah, that's just one tip for you on how you can make your video a bit more interesting for the viewers. The next feature that I will show you is for those of you that wanna use a green screen effect without actually having a green screen. And I'll show you what I mean. So usually when you're shooting in a green screen, you have your person that is nicely lit and then you have the green screen and then basically you just select the green and that cuts out everything. And that was in the past the only way on how you can cut out your your subject and create a different background for example but now with filmora 12 you also have a different option and this works by tapping on ai tools and then you can come down here to smart cutout and then you just you know enable this and then just tap on this icon this is what the window looks like and now you have this brush and basically all you need to do is you need to just you know drag a mask around your subject and of course you know the more time you take doing this the better it will work um, but just for the sake of this video i'll just do this very quickly and very roughly so you cannot expect any magic results here as you can see this is basically how it looks and you could erase that in case the mask was too big and yeah you could start tracking this and as you can see everything that's blue now is being masked out and i won't let this render right now because this would take quite a while and i did not shoot this clip intentionally to be masked so i would have needed a, a higher shutter speed and all of that to work really nice but but just so that you can see it does work quite nice and i see this very often on instagram and on tiktok these days this seems to be trending so this program has this feature and that's very nice other programs also do not even have this feature the next feature that i would like to show you is also a very nice one and also a feature that i'm using very very often and that is if we go back to my media then you now also have an adjustment layer section here you can just go to preset or make a custom one and i'll just take this preset right here and an adjustment layer is basically like an invisible layer above your video but you can for example put a color grade onto this layer right here in case you 
you have several clips down here that are all shot in the same lighting environment and you do not want to color grade each clip individually you can just put an adjustment layer just above that and then you put the color grade on this layer right here and then you would not have to tweak it for each individual clip you could do this with color grades you could make letter boxes like this there are a bunch of different options and and that's just a very nice thing to speed up the workflow and the last feature that i would like to show you is the speed ramping feature and that's also very nice and basically i'm just selecting this clip right here then i'm going over to speed and there as you can see we can customize it completely or we have a few different presets that we can take so for example if we take the hero moment and as you can see you can just play it and you can almost see it in real time i would have to render this right now but that's really nice and we also have a few other different options so let's take montage for example let's see how that looks you know it's pretty difficult to to preview this because i would have to render this and my sequence settings are not perfect so that's the reason why i cannot play it very nicely but generally speaking the program is optimized for m1 max for example but also for intel computers and it also works on windows computers so basically it just depends on the machine that you have and in case none of these presets is working for you you can also customize it completely and you can also add keyframes right here and then you can just make it faster, make it slower, and like I said, add a few more keyframes. So you can basically tweak it however you like. And overall, I think making speed ramps in that way is just super easy because you can sort of visualize it, you can visualize the speed, and yeah, in my opinion, that's the best way to truly make some speed ramps. But there you have it, guys. These are some of my personal favorite features of Filmora 12. Filmora 12 does have a ton of more features. You can stabilize your footage, you can also green screen, like I said, there are basically countless of other options as well these are just some of my personal favorite features in case you would like to get more information about filmora 12 then just click that link down below you can download a free trial you can basically use everything you can just not export the video without having a watermark but basically for trying it out and seeing like is this a good program for you does it fit your needs you can just try this out for free and yeah thanks to filmora for sponsoring this video and in case you have any more questions then Make sure to let me know. I'd love to help you out. But that's it for today. And I'll talk to you in the next one.